Well, that's one of them. I got uh, a couple new hamsters, both female. They both came out of the same litter. Uh, one's Dorothy and one's Blanche, and I can't really tell them apart because they look the same. So you're either looking at Dorothy or Blanche. I don't know. And in case you're wondering where I got those names from, Golden Girls. One of my favorite shows from the 80s. So. They sleep a lot. I used to have hamsters when I was a kid. So it's kind of cool to have them again. But, uh. This one seems to be more active than the other one. The other one just likes to, likes to sleep even more. Look at that. Like she's showing off. They drink water in the funniest way. Their legs are all just like everywhere. You know. It's the funniest thing ever. So. Yep. Got a uh, water bottle. Glass. That way they don't chew on it. Uh, just a you know, ceramic bowl, that way they don't chew on it too, and then this just arrived from Amazon, it's a chew toy. It's for rabbits and guinea pigs and small animals, so I don't know if th that might be too big, but we'll see if they like it or not. There's a wheel that they keep bearing, so they can't really run on it. There's a house that they don't use, <laughs> because they like to sleep in the litter itself. And there's the, where'd she go? There's the other one sleeping so yeah she's still going at it pretty funny stuff what's up guys it's Danny it's been a while since I made a video I know um, I'm actually be making a video on my little hiatus my second one in a month I know um, but mentally I've not been well I guess Nothing crazy, uh, nothing like a breakdown or anything like that. Cause I've seen a certain creator who had a second breakdown in, in like six months recently. Big one. I want to talk about that. Anyway, um, as you saw, I have hamsters now. Um, and they are adorable. And they like to fight each other for some reason. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so what am I doing right now? Um, as you can see, things are kind of a mess so yeah if you look around um what i'm doing is i'm actually going through this closet which has not been opened in like two years two or three years because if you remember my old setup the desk was right there and then the uh my pcs both of them on their tables were right in front of this door well the door's open now and i'm surprised it took this long for me to open it because this door's been unblocked for like a month and a half, you know. But as you can see, I don't remember what all I threw in here. But there's a lot of stuff. I don't even know what this is. It's got lights on it. And it's from Memorex. And I don't know what it does. I know it lights up, obviously, but... Yeah, so... Definitely gonna plug that in later. I got a bunch of one-up boxes. There's the 80s retro pop box, which no longer exists. Arcade block from David. So, I have quite... A bit to go through. I don't know what's in these bags. No idea. That's part of the fun. So, what I'm going to do, the goal is to clean out this closet completely and then take all of my vintage Macs that are currently not on the shelf and put them in here in storage because I don't like where they're at right now and I want them in a safe place and I feel like this closet is perfect. So, I'm going to go through this closet and, uh, Throw away a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of old magazines from Game Informer and stuff like that in there. So, I also found this. Look at this. You might remember Windows Live One Care. Because there it is. I don't know if it's in the package. Let's find out. Let's see. I remember when they came out with this stuff. I was like, this is the security I'm getting because it's made by Microsoft. So, they don't make it anymore. I think now it's called... Just Windows Defender, which is, I think, the same thing. Look at that, guys. There's the disc. I still have it. That's crazy. So, and I'm sure, yeah, there's definitely a product key on the back. So, I should see if this works. <laughs> I don't think it does. I don't think they support it anymore. 
But uh, yeah, it's definitely the Windows Vista era when this was made. And on the back here, you got all your uh, different uh, advertisements on for what it does and everything else. It was always kind of gimmicky. But this, for I would say probably four or five years, was, was my antivirus at the time. I don't use that anymore. I use I use a Bit Defender now. But yeah. So and that's the thing. Me and my homies, we always argue on whether you use antivirus or not. They don't. None of them do. I'm sorry, I'm a little old school. I feel like you still need antivirus. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But Bitdefender has a game mode where it stays out of the way when I'm playing a game or when I'm streaming. That's what I like about Bitdefender because it's got it's got gaming in mind. So this is not an advertisement for them by any means. They're not paying me to say any of this. I just I choose Bitdefender. It stays out of the way and works when it needs to. And boy, does it catch Trojans like crazy. So, I push it to my customers. They, they always ask me, what Danny, what antivirus should I use? Because be, they'd be using like Mac, McAfee. Remember that? Norton? Hell no. Bitdefender. At the very least, Malwarebytes. But even then, people hate that too. Like, I don't understand. It's like a love-hate thing with Malwarebytes. But I use Bitdefender. Judge me if you want. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and... Leave this how it is, because it's 4.30 in the morning, and I need some sleep. My voice is raspy. So, uh, with that being said, I will see you guys in the afternoon, most likely. Um, yeah, also, I'm going to be selling one of my old iPhones, so that's nice. So, yeah, anyway, see you in the morning afternoon. See you then. Currently watching Vinny, kind of watching Vinny, Vine Sauce. Stream on Twitch. I'll go ahead and mute it real quick because it's talking and music. Anyway, uh, day two of this closet. I've actually cleaned a lot. I found a bunch of books. A ton of books. Uh, and a bunch of mess and stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I used to work at GameStop, as a lot of you know. And so I found some old stuff from when I worked there. Look at that. Modern Warfare 2, 1600 Microsoft points. Obviously, the code has been used uh, long ago for the 360. Uh, Chrono Trigger soundtrack. There's a lot of free stuff we would get from vendors. Um, and then this relic is from 2007. Red Alert 3, Command & Conquer. This is the Reserve Now disc, so you get like a demo of the game. But you get the full version of Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. So maybe I'll open it up someday and try it out. And I have a gaming PC after all. So yeah, I'm going to see, I'm going to set you guys right here, okay, look at that, I've got a bag here of stuff that's been in that closet for, since 2008, and it's now 2019, so over a decade, I have no idea what's in here, but it's more free stuff that we got as employees at GameStop, so, I've got, it. Well, this is cool, a Castlevania Judgment uh, Certificate of Authenticity. It's the limited edition laser cell. Cool. I'm not a Castlevania fan, but somebody out there probably would love to have this. So there's that. I may sell this stuff. I don't know. Some stickers to some random game. I don't even know what those characters are. Let's see. Ooh. The Art of Tomb Raider, Underworld. So that's cool. Wow, this is, shows her wire design and everything in the game. So I imagine, and this is a this is a full art book. So yeah, all kinds of stuff. So I imagine um, that there are people out here who would love this book. Look at this. Laura Croft, as I remember her, Tomb Raider 2 was my favorite version. Polygonal titties, anybody? Man. Oh, yeah. oh you know what? And then 20, 2003, there's all, look at all that eye candy. That's the thing about me, guys. I've, <clears throat> I've always, I've never beat a Laura Croft, or a Tomb Raider game, I should say. Oh, I've got two books. Look at that. So... Hit me up if you want one of these. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I've never beat a Tomb Raider game. 
But I've always had appreciation for Laura Croft because she is downright gorgeous. More stickers from that same game. I have no idea what it's two. Let's see. Lord of the Rings Conquest. Limited edition Witch King Sword replica. Little tiny thing. Random in the box. Pretty cool. And it looks like I've got two of those also. So we got a lot of stuff working there from these vendors. Here's an unopened demo disc of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. It's a demo disc not for sale. I'm telling you, they gave us all kinds of stuff. Ten free songs from Rock Revolution. And I. Wow, I've got one, two, three, four, five. That is 50 free songs and unused codes for Rock Revolution. That's hilarious. That's crazy. I didn't even I never even played the game, but they were really pushing us to, you know, sell it. So they gave us each. I remember they gave us each one card and nobody wanted them. So I took them all. They said the game's not employees that I have theirs. So we were there were five employees working at one time. Dude gave us one each. They all gave them to me. So I got five unused codes for Rock Revolution. I'm pretty sure nobody plays that game anymore. If you do and you want those codes hit me up, I don't know if they'll work though. Brand new sealed 2009 calendar for Need for Speed Undercover. That's pretty cool. Sealed in the box, or in the, in the shrink wrap. Two of those sealed. Three of those sealed. The stuff you can find when you spring clean, it's crazy. So three sealed, now obviously these calendars are no good because it's from 2009, but the artwork is there. So sealed in the, bu uh, sealed in the plastic. Keep saying box. Are those calendars? What else we got? I got a little bit more stuff in here. Oh, it's a third Tomb Raider book. So there's three Tomb Raider books. So, yeah. Uh, we got, what is this? This is from Hori. Moon. The moon has more than one dark side, but what is that? Is that cartridge? Oh, it's for the DS. It's a cartridge holder. And a stylus. Little promotional thing I'm sure they had going on for that game. And is there anything else? The old ass receipt for eight dollars in Mission Pet Mart. What did I buy for eight dollars? That's back when I had a lizard. Crickets. Yeah, crickets. Crickets are not cheap. Of course they did bite a dozen. What else is in here? Okay, here's the other part of the receipt. So, I bought a dozen crickets for $1.50 and then Reptile Supply, $5.89. I don't, that would be a food bowl or a water bowl, most likely. So, anyway, that's all that's in that bag. But I'm not done. Far from done. I have a lot to go through. So, that was what was in that. That's what was in that uh, bag. This other bag. Just alcohol. Good old crown. Little crown royals at that behind the camera. <coughs> and let's see. An empty gum box. I don't understand why I keep half the stuff I kept. Burn CDs. Dim Scion beats. I know where this stuff came from. Back when I had my Scion. Why do I name CDs like this? Look. <laughs> Drake, you care. The other CD was getting boring, so here's this one. That's what I named that CD. This was a lanyard to something. This is all I'm all way. I'll keep the lanyard, even though I don't care about Lincoln Group of Schools. I have no idea what that's about. It was obviously free. What else we got in here? We got huh, a nice red pen. I'll keep that. 
Oh my goodness, you can tell. Oh my goodness, you can tell this is for all from 2011. We got 2011 memes. YOLO. And let's all not forget Troll Face. Hot Topic, I was edgy. Whatever old I was. How, well, that was great English. However old I was, I was an edgy that guy. 20s. 20 or 21 or something like that. So, but we're not done. Alright. Oh, we're getting back into the, back in the day, back in the day. This is like high school stuff. Uh, we're so stirring. That's the first two tracks. So, so far empty CD cases. I forgot about black audio. Sex sells. Where are the, the CDs must be in a holder or something. T.I., I'm serious. I'm sure you are, T.I. That was his first, or his debut album, or whatever. Ah, here we go, here's a classic. Michael Jackson, Thriller 25. I hope the CD's in this one. I feel like it's not, though. Because knowing me, I'm like, I didn't, back then, I didn't really care about my stuff like I do now. Okay, alright, we got one CD gone, but one CD here. This is the DVD. Oh, I hope I can find the uh, CD to this. And I hope it's intact. But there you go. This is a collect. This is a uh, collector's CD. When they re-released Thriller with the remixes that had uh, Well I Am and Fergie and Kanye, which kind of ruined the whole thing. But yeah, a little bit of sticky. Oh, that's from the when I opened it. Yeah, it uh, it always had a little bit of sticky residue on the very bottom. As you can see, it's very shiny. Just gotta find the CD part. I know it's in this room somewhere. It's probably in some, like I said before, some CD case holder thing. So I'll set that off. I'll put that here with the others. Nerd Seeing Sounds. This album I played to death when I visited California in 2008. And it's got the Snoop Dogg CD in it from the Blue Carpet Treatment for some reason. So find that soup dog CD, I'll put that where it goes, but yeah, there's a nerd. Chemical Brothers, We Are the Night, no CD in there, but good album. I was, a lot, I was in the EDM a lot growing up, not so much now, but back in the day it was. Jay-Z, American Gangster, I get, guarantee you, yep, no CD. Justice, third debut album, probably no CD. I gotta find that jacket so I can put all the CDs in there belong. Yeah, no CD. Rihanna, good girl on bed. You can tell you used to work at Target. A lot of the hits. This thing's all bent up. Yeah, no CD. This case is warped. Let's get a stack going. Okay. We got a lot in this bag still. A very bent Bible. Like I said, I grew up in a religious household. So, I often got Bibles as gifts. I've never, ever had to buy one. This version is the message, so it, it leaves out all of these and those, and you're just, you're just talking, normal. You know? Let me throw, let me throw something at y'all real quick. I ain't trying to preach, I'm just giving you an example of uh, how they talk in this version, you know? Usually it's thee and thou and blah blah blah, but this one's like dead bodies everywhere, scattered at random like sheep and goat during the fields, like we cut down by reapers and left to rot where it falls. You understand that a lot easier than thee and thou, so that's a good example. However, this thing is severely damaged, which is unfortunate because I did not know how to take care of my stuff. This was like bent. However, not rude. It's just really big crease right there, so. I think I got this for my 18th birthday. My dad had my name engraved in it, so that was cool. I'll keep it, obviously. I just wish I hadn't let it get bent and jacked up, but I'm not religious, so. But I still like things to be nice, you know what I'm saying? It's a really nice, squishy, good book. So, anyway. Moving on. Grand Theft Auto 4, strategy guide, it's all bent up. Now it's going to trash. Don't care about that, Bible. 
There, what else we got here? TI Paper Trail. No Z. And then we got Thrive Mix 3. Again, you can tell I used to work at Target. They have they sell these all the time. We used to sell them all the time. Disc one is there. It's two discs, but how do I get to the second disc? Oh, there it is. Yeah, disc one and two there. Really? I can keep the disc to this, but not Michael Jackson's the early 25 anniversary edition? Cool day. Just to show you which one I actually listened to more, though. Obviously, it wasn't this one. This has, like, one song in here like, I think I like. It's got, the, it's got a good mix and maybe buy the whole CD. Back when I used to do that, before you could have Spotify and everything else. Uh, yeah, yeah, Panic and Disco remix. Uh, Nellie Fertile's remix is good. Um, Cassie's Me and You remix was really good too. Okay, so there's there's three songs at least I like on here. I remember SOS with Rihanna was good. Brooke Hogan was good with About Us. That was a good remix. Okay, all right, all right. There's a couple on the other side. So okay, all right. I'll give this more credit than I initially was going to give it. What the heck is this? Opportunity starts here, Bank of America. I didn't have this bank. It was my worst bank ever. Check and debit card register. Why? Who the heck? You can tell. All right, so debit cards have been around 15 years, I think. So when I got a bank when I was in high school is when they first started doing debit cards, right? Credit cards have been around a lot longer. But... They thought people were going to carry these around like they do checkbooks. This is technically a checkbook for your debit card. What you would do is you would insert the card in this little slot, right? Okay? And then you'd insert receipts in this slot, okay? And then, like a nerd, they thought you were going to write down every little swipe you did. Just like you would in a registry of a checkbook. No. That's not how the world works. Now, in the perfect world, yes, because then you never overdraft or overdraw or whatever. However, ain't nobody got time for this. I swipe that card five times a day at least. I don't have this horrible bank either, by the way. But I will keep this because this is hilarious to talk about. So, Also, here's a coaster my dad made when he was my age. Well, actually younger at this point because I'm not. I keep thinking I'm 15 when I'm not. But when he was 15, he made this. So it's a coaster and DM on it, if you can even see that. So, yeah, anyway. Moving on. That burp tastes like pizza. Well, I had pizza for dinner, but I ain't trying to have it again. Okay. So I like to save all birthday cards from my grandparents because they're, a lot of them are gone now. I'm pretty sure. I wrote a short story. When did I write this? <laughs> oh, I gotta make this its own video. Maybe. I don't know. Hold on. Let me, I don't want that. Set the card over here. When I was a kid, <clears throat> when I was a kid, instead of doing homework or schoolwork in class, I would often draw. That says, wake me up when September ends with some emo kid would with teeth. I don't know why I do that. Whatever. <laughs> However, this is when I was in... I was in 7th grade. August 5th, 2001. I don't know why I liked to write. But I was a horrible writer. It's because I was a kid. You know? Whole freaking... And I never did finish it, obviously. And this was not an assignment. This was Danny on a Sunday just on his computer. I was ha I was so happy to have a computer in Microsoft Word. Like, that was... Call me weird, but that was a goal of mine because I had the Macintosh Performer, which is not in that closet. It's downstairs. But I also had a Windows 2000 computer. Uh, but before that, I had a Windows 98. I can never, ever get Microsoft Office. Finally, I did. Finally, I did. So, before I tell you this, before I read this, probably a very cringy story. Uh... Oh yeah, I can, t I can, <laughs> oh, this, this is going to be stupid. Okay, so, 
in order for me to get Microsoft Office on my uh, Windows 98 slash Windows 2000, I upgraded it to Windows 2000 back in the day. That was the first upgrade I ever did, by the way. Um, the only way I could get Windows is my grandpa's church actually bought Microsoft Office for like 400 bucks at CompUSA or something like that. And so I found it one day in my grandpa's office just messing around looking for something to write on, you know, because I was just trying to doodle. And I stumbled upon Microsoft Office. And it was Microsoft Office 2000. So uh, if you remember those iconic icons, they're like white boxes with like dark blue for Word and uh, with a W in it. And then an X, dark green for Excel, and then P, uh, orange for PowerPoint. Anyway, and so on and so forth. So, stole, stole the suite, okay? Went home that night, installed Office. Happy as all get out. Tight in Rocky, it worked. And what's cool is back then you could install it on like five computers and they'd only use it once, so they had four keys left. So I took a key and I uh, took it back and uh, they never knew that I had Office on my computer. I was so happy. So with that being said, I wrote this cringy little story. Um, keep in mind, I was like 12 or 13. It's going to be stupid. And I liked using Tahoma font. I was obsessed with Tahoma. I don't know why. But the name of the story is Sisters. It's by Danny. I made sure I wrote Danny Minnick 2. You know, because I'm the second. August 5th, 2001. Let's cringe together, shall we? <laughs> it's only four, par four paragraphs long, so here we go. Here we go. Gonna... Oh, boy. One afternoon on a Monday, Sarah Johnson was walking home from school. I don't get this. This is already going to be... St I'm already cringing. I can feel it in my cheeks. I'm cringing. She hated going home because her dad hates her. That's nice. She opened the door of her home and she found her mom dead and her dad with a knife that had blood all over it. Sarah ran to her best friend's house. Help me, she cried. What's wrong, Sarah? Joy asked. My dad killed. She could bear she could hardly talk. There's a bunch of ellipses in the middle, by the way. With no spacing. What are you doing, Danny? Anyway. Then Sarah said Well, I was good at punctuation. Then Sarah said he killed my mom. And she began to cry. I'll call the police, Joy's mom said. The police came to their house and Sarah told them where she lived. The police arrested her dad and hauled him to prison. This is happening really quickly. Sarah was on national TV two weeks later. She became a famous she became famous a year later and was in a movie. Why? Because she found her mom murdered by her dad? Anyway. <laughs> I can just picture Mel laughing right now. I know. I know a lot of people watch my vlogs, but I can just picture Mel specifically laughing because this story is so stupid because I was like 12. <laughs> Where was I at? This is so stupid. Oh, okay. It was a late. Okay. She became famous a year later and was in a movie. Where are these names? What did I have these names from? Joy's parents adopted Sarah. Joy was famous too. Threw that in there, Danny? Alright. We're... I'm in the story later, by the way. This, that's where it gets fun. We're not just best friends. We're half-sisters. No, that would be step-sisters, Danny, if you only knew. Sarah said, on Sarah's 15... There's no th... On Sarah's 15th birthday, <laughs> her adopted parents took her to Disney World. Okay. I don't understand this next... A little tale. She met a boy who lived near her at Disney World. Let me get this straight. So, I'm flying the same time she's flying to Disney World? Or do I live in Florida already, Danny? Like, what's going on? Anyway, the boy's name was Danny. Go figure. He took her out to a movie for her birthday when they got back to Hollywood. Oh, I'm just flying all over the place, aren't I? What's that have to do with anything? Or why did her? When did her birthday happen? 
<laughs> they became in oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they <laughs> They became in love with each other. Danny taught her how to skateboard and she taught him how to dance. I have never once in my life learned how to skateboard. So why that's in... You can tell I was playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater back in the day. That's what that's from. I just... It clicked. Your boy was obsessed with Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 on the PS2. It's in the story. <laughs> She taught me how to I know how to die. I already know how to dance. Anyway, that's not the point. One day Danny was driving home and a car was driving on the wrong side of the road. Okay, well why would that be? Danny's car slammed into the drunk's car. Is you sure Danny's car slammed into the drunk's car or did the drunk slam into Danny's car because it was on the wrong side of the road? Because I was on the right side of the road. Technically. I'm arguing with my my with my younger self. Danny was rushed to hospital. Well, I didn't even finish writing a full sentence there. Danny was rushed to hospital and died that night. Sarah was so depressed she wouldn't come out of room for a whole week. She wrote a song. <laughs> okay, so around this time I was also big into GeoCities. Okay, and you can tell you can tell what my hobbies are in this whole story because I write my hobbies into the story. She wrote a song and made a website about Danny. She made a website about Danny. He, Danny taught her how to skateboard. Your boy loved Twin Pro Skater 3 and GeoCities and MSN Communities if you want to go back far for her. Let's see. Danny was like their older brother. Wait, hold on. She wrote, okay, if I'm dating this chick, listen, this is, this is weird. She wrote a song and made a website about Danny. Joy wouldn't eat her anything. Why wouldn't Joy eat something? She's not even with me. It was Sarah. And then this next line just makes it all Alabama sounding. Danny was like their older brother they never had. Yet yeah, I was dating Sarah. I, boy, I didn't think this through when I was writing this when I was a kid. The funeral was on Thursday. Well, what day did I die, though? Anyway. Sarah and Joy cried so much that their stomach hurt days past as no one said a word in the family. And I was just walking around silent for days. They had, I just met her at Disney World and then took her to Hollywood for her birthday. Where'd I get all this money? How, how did I get all this money? She's the one that had all the money. She was rich and famous from her dad killing her mom. This whole story is... Anyway... You can tell how developed your mind becomes over time when you're looking back at something you did a long time ago. August 5th, 2001, 7th grade. Anyway. Let's see, on Wednesday, Sarah was, I guess, it screw that comma. You know, on Wednesday, Sarah, there's no, there's no pause, there's no comma there. On Wednesday, Sarah was walking to school. When a van drove by, one of Sarah's classmates was in it. His name was Eric. He told her to get in. She did because that was one of her best friends. Eric drove past the school. Eric, you passed the school, Sarah said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cringy. She did because that was one of her best friends. Eric drove past the school. Eric, you passed the school, She's, Sarah said. Eric says... Can you say kidnapped? It's all in all caps. Eric asked. Stop the van, Eric. Sarah screamed. That's in all caps also. Oh my goodness. Ha, you're stuck with me and I'm kidnapping you, Eric said. I thought you were my best friend, Sarah said. A tear ran down her cheek. You fool, Eric said. The end of the story. What a horrible story. Full of tragedy. A lot of suspense. First of all, the story starts off with Sarah fighting her father, killing her mother, and then being adopted by her best friend's family, and then she met me, and uh, apparently rich money bags Danny flew her to Hollywood after he met her in Disney World in Florida. And then I got hit by a drunk driver and killed very quickly. 
And then nobody said a word because they were so devastated because I died even though they just met me a week prior. And then some dude she went to school with kidnapped her because he passed the school without stopping. I have several questions. If I'm 12, Sarah's 12, her friend slash stepsister Joy is 12, and Eric is 12, why is Eric driving? Why am I driving? Obviously, I think I was supposed to be older in this than I was when I wrote this. Because Sarah's 15. Sarah had a 15 birthday. Remember that? Of which I took her to Hollywood because I'm just made of money. So, I would have to be at least 15. Which would make Eric at least 15, which means he's got a driver's permit. Okay, alright. Fine, little Danny. Fine. I'm keeping this. <laughs> to home of fun. I was so happy to have Microsoft Office. I wrote a story that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh. That has to be its own video. That's too funny. I'll leave it in the vlog too, but that's just going to be its own video. That's. Man. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> okay, before I go to bed, <laughs> I found my old prom pictures. Not just my old prom pictures, like just old everything pictures. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show the camera, but I'm gonna put these up on screen because I'm gonna actually scan these into my computer so you get a good quality photo. There's that one. Okay, little Danny, you know, looking like a little gangster, you know. There's a picture of the backyard, you know. Is it going to have phone numbers on it? Yeah, there's phone numbers on it, so I'll probably censor that part. Anyway, um, more pictures of the backyard. This is when we first moved into the house 12 years ago. Boy, does it not look anything like it used to. This It was crispy back in the day. Of course, my grandma was also alive and kept the house and the yard in order. And she was also... You know, in her 60s, and so is my grandpa, but he's in his 80s now, so. Um, yeah, there's. I'm gonna skip some of these because it's just house stuff. So, but she was proud. There she is. She was proud of this house. There's my grandma. You guys would have loved her. Man, I, I, was, I was just getting started in YouTube when she died, so. Like, I, I have videos somewhere maybe on a hard drive of her funeral maybe I think it may have gotten lost though I'm not sure here's your boy in the Dodge Magnum that's what I took to prom I had the 86 Silverado um, back in the day but my grandpa said hey you know what you're going to prom you get to drive the new car which was a 2005 Dodge Ram even though this was 2006 uh, so it was a year old at the time, but yeah. There's your boy looking like a G, you know. Calling, calling, calling the posse. I don't know. I'm trying to talk like a mob, homie guy. I sound so gangster, I know. My grandma liked taking pictures of me. <laughs> There's another one. She was so proud of me wearing a suit. She helped me get that suit tailored and everything. It was a process, I'll tell you that. Process, your boy was... He was wanting to look good, so I was patient. But normally, I don't like dressing up. But there's another one. This one right here kills me, though. Like, what am I doing right now? I look like I'm about to go, like, whack someone. Especially, okay, that picture, but especially this one. He's a boss. He's a boss. Go get him, Tony. He's a boss. All right, I'll stop talking like that. I'm sorry if you're from that area. And I ruined your accent. I apologize. Please do not send your boss to kill me I enjoy breathing so yeah uh, is there any other oh there's more there's more <laughs> there's more look at that one that one and then I <laughs> your boy said he said right next to Dodge Magnum that's funny yeah I'm gonna scan all these in <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here. I like watching. Wait, we didn't have a. Oh, I am watching TV. This is downstairs. Yeah, I was waiting on uh, 
what's her face? I forget her name. For her to text me. She finally did and I went and picked her up. Boy, she was pretty. She was beautiful. I had a flip phone from Sprint in these pictures. This is before the iPhone 06. The iPhone came out a year later. There I am again. There I am again where my shirt came untucked. That was one of the chores. Because uh, even back then, your boy had a gut. But that was one of the chores of wearing that particular tuxedo. Or, I guess, really any tuxedo when you're my size. Uh, hilarious, though. So, yeah, there you go. So, right now, I do have another uh, photo album. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'm going to go to bed, because it's like 6 in the morning. Yeah, it's 6.01. Birds are chirping. I'm going to have to uncover my bird, and he's going to be yelling at me while I'm asleep, but that's fine. What birds do, what birds do, you know. These hamsters over here, they've been fighting half the night. They're sisters, they're from the same litter, they're from the same cage. I bought them together. I didn't want to split them up, but maybe I should have, because all they do is fight. Rarely do they get along. They go in there, they start going, they, I didn't know hamsters squeak. Or I, I, okay, I probably did, but it's been so long since I've had hamsters, it's been over a decade. I for, must have forgot that they squeak. Here's the negatives. In case they ever want to go get more made, which I wouldn't because I can just make duplicates. Especially when I scan them in. He's your boss. Alright. You stop saying that. <laughs> oh, sorry, I bumped the camera a little bit. Okay. I don't know what's in these. So this if these are private, then I'll just cut this part out. I think it's just more I think it's family stuff. Oh, graduation! Alright, my grandma's good at this. Alright, so we had prom night, a month later, graduation. Everybody's there. There's my grandma, there's me, there's my mom, there's my dad, my grandpa. Who else? My cousin, I don't even talk to anymore. There. Me and mom. You know what? I'm going to have all these scanned, definitely. Why? not so yeah I'm just gonna I'm showing you pictures but what I'm gonna really do is like put them in the video so there's gonna be a lot of editing all right and here's our friend Bob what's up Bob I wonder, wonder what you're doing these days my dude I think you moved away okay there's me and Nick and mom so is that and this is my cousin, who I don't even talk to at all, nor do I get along with. This is all her graduation stuff, so I'll skip this. It's a shame, too, because we got along when we were kids, but not anymore. There's the one picture, because it's got me and my grandma in it. It's her, she's my cousin. We and her, we don't we don't talk, we're not cool or nothing. She's uh, very political, and I'm very not political. So there's me again. How much bigger I was back in the day. Boy, I look like Polly, not Polly. Who's the who's the really big dude? Is his name Polly something? Polly D that's not Polly D, that's Jersey Shore. Ralph Ralphie May, that's it. I look like Ralphie May. I think. Forget about it. Alright, this this picture developed weird. My face got distorted. Oh, because my grandma was holding the camera? Here's the thing. I had a thing for this chick back in the day. I forget her name now. But, uh... I don't know what I, I saw in that, because I don't see it now. Does that make sense? She ain't thick. I, I don't think I knew what thick was back in the day. You know, you 15, 16, anything that's got a vagine, you're like ready to hit. Anyway, uh, there's my 86 Chevy Silverado short bed. Don't have that car anymore or truck. Uh, I think I went through like three engines when I had it. I aunt and uncle in California playing the Wii that I actually bought while I was in California. That was back when it was scarce and hard to find. Horses I didn't like. I'm not a fan of horses. They spelled the cake wrong. Congratulations, Ashley. I always thought that was funny. It's my cousin's cake. Uh, this is my grandma. Back in, I don't know why. 
Somebody took a picture of her in the fridge, but there you go. There's a picture of my bedroom when I first moved in. It's like nothing there, just green and blue. That was it. And uh, what's funny is this picture right here is actually right behind you, like the area. It's the corner of this room, which is now where my desk sits. So that's funny. That's my grandpa being goofy. Oh my goodness. Is your boy in the future? When was this taken? I don't know, but I used to love those Sony headphones. Or No, they are Philips because they go behind your head. They were so durable. I still have a pair somewhere. I actually have a new version of them somewhere. Maybe down. You know what? I think they're right. Hold on. Hold on. I think I have the new version right down. There. Wouldn't that be funny if I had what I'm talking about right here? Hold on. I think I do. Ah, I do. I got them. I got them. So they don't make the silver ones anymore that you saw in the picture. This is what they replaced them with. The exact same headphones, just instead of silver, they're black now, you know. It's the only difference. But, uh, yeah, I've had these since, well, like, 2008, I think, is when those finally, those old ones that are in the picture, I think they went out in 2008, 2009. But look at it, they still fit. These are what I replaced those silver ones with the next year. So, I'm pretty sure you can still get these, too. Let's type in the model number. Uh, I'll use my phone. I got stuff on the keyboard. Oh, they don't sell these anymore. They're on eBay now only. Which, I mean, they're good headphones, but boy, people are selling them for $49 used on eBay? I don't sell these. I don't even use these anymore. I'll keep them, though. Is there a new model? Currently unavailable. They're on Amazon, but they're currently unavailable. So, what's comparable to these? Oh, well, here. Yeah, okay. Here's the solution if you really want something similar. It's a distorted picture, but who cares? It's just a picture. They sell Sony branded ones that do the same thing. Exact same. Just instead of Philips, Sony and they're black. Uh, 15 bucks. So I paid 15 bucks for these back in 2008, 2009. So I can't believe I had those. That's funny. I'm going to definitely hold on to my pair now since you can't buy them anymore. So, but uh, yeah. So there you go. I think, was I done looking at pictures? Let me see. I got so sidetracked just now with my joy of finding my old headphones that still, I'm glad I kept up with them. I really am. Because I also have, I like that style so much and I should probably use these more because I don't have any AirPods because I sold mine because I'm getting the AirPods too in a couple months. But Motorola has a around the head version too. And these are wireless, Bluetooth. So I should start using these more because these are actually just like those other ones. These are actually a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more cushion. So these are 25 bucks. Uh, I don't know the model number. But anyway, back to the pictures. I'm gonna consider, I need to charge these first. So I'm gonna leave these out because I wanna start using these while I don't have AirPods too at the moment so okay back to the pictures uh let's see graduation decorations it's me and my cousin kicking it before we before we were beefing i got seven year beef by the way pictures of their house which i don't care about and you won't either they live in a rather nice house i will say that pictures of me and my mom graduation I think somebody should have told me to never wear those sunglasses I'll tell you that cuz no they clearly do not fit my face but boy did I not know that any better back in the day there's me getting into my truck going to graduation let me leave that picture out so you can see it so I can scan it and show you guys I'll be I'll scan all these tomorrow 
All right, here's your boy. About to get his uh, diploma. So, yeah. I think that's the end. Yeah, cool. At the end of what I will show you anyway. So, <laughs> all right. So, yeah, that'll do it. So, all right, I'm going to get some sleep, guys. And I'll see you all in the morning. Technically the afternoon. So, yeah. What up, peeps? It's Danny. Um, about to watch a movie. It's actually on Netflix. It is called The Master. And I'm going to pause it before it starts because I don't want to get with copyright. Also, don't want to miss anything. Anyway, The Master is, is a movie about some guy who starts a religion, basically a cult. Um, and uh, that's all I know. And I, 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 the reviews on it are really good, actually. Uh, it is. It was made in 2012, and it is loosely based around Scientology. So, the guy's name is not L. Ron Hubbard, and the religion is not Scientology, but the way he acts in this is the exact same way the ex-Scientologists and uh, probably some current Scientologists say what happened back then happened in this movie. So, they obviously can't get away with saying that it's a movie about Scientology. Because there are people in Hollywood who are Scientologists, and there are people in Hollywood who are not. And there are people in Hollywood who are against it, and some that are for it. Um, but it's, it's it's hinting at it. So, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, so check it out if you're interested in that. And you know me. Um, I'm always interested in this religion. Um, so, yeah. I actually got one of these books recently from an ex just blown for good uh, it's a story and uh, it's a story on his escape from the hole or gold base as Scientologists call it uh, they chased him on a motorcycle in an SUV and so did, it looks like so did the police according to the cover anyway so never judge a book by its cover but that is his story so I intend on reading that too so very interesting stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start this movie, and I will catch you all after the movie. This is all part of spring cleaning. Getting rid of these boxes. So, yeah. It didn't last long at all. Alright guys, this is where I end the vlog. Uh, as you can see, not done yet with spring cleaning of this room. I still have a lot to do. Today's yard work got in the way of, of a lot of that. So, I'm exhausted. Um, and, uh, yeah, I did get a little footage of the fire on my phone. So hopefully I was able to put that in the vlog. So if I did, you've already seen it by now. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll make a part two to this uh, vlogging, spring cleaning junk, you know. And, uh, yeah, I got some more vintage tech that I want to show that is not in this room yet. That will be in the next vlog, hopefully. And, uh, so, yeah. Time to go ahead and export all of these clips into Final Cut Pro, edit the video, and have it ready for Monday. So, assuming I did all that at 4.11 in the morning, you should have a new vlog at 9 a.m. May the 6th, 2019. Assuming. Hopefully I did. So, that being said, thanks you. That being said, thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. Hopefully I'll have more content than it's been lacking lately. Mentally drained. So, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.